Hello, folks. Welcome to BSD CAN 2024. Um, I, I really wanted to use Dan's slides, but it turns out our presentation programs are incompatible, so we should set a community standard that all slides are in magic point from now on. The, this year is a little special. 20 years. So let's go through this quick so you can do the parts you really came to see. There is a room mic in this room. It's live. Uh, talk loudly when you ask a question, or the recording will be fuzzy. Uh, if you mutter bad things under your breath while a presenter is speaking, the room mic will pick it up and record it in posterity on the video forever. So you have been warned. Um, you might have noticed, I'm not Dan. Um, so, you know, what happened to him? Um, we have ideas of things that could have happened to him. And some of them are more plausible than others. The really unlikely one is that after running this for 20 years, uh, and the practice of running it was easier than teaching someone else to help him run it, he realized the only way he would get rid of it would be to dump it on some poor sap. Um, and here I am. Um, and I want you to all think back 20 years, what Dan was like before starting BSD Can. <laughs> Young, hopeful, ready to make a difference in the world. And then BSD Can happened. <laughs> and despite all this, uh, despite dumping it on the poor sap, uh, he showed up to many of our ConCom meetings and provided his experience and wisdom and the phone numbers for people at University of Ottawa and t-shirt places and all that. So uh, the first thing we have to do, thank you, Dan. Now, Dan started BSD Can with the express goal of basically hanging out with smart people and having a beer. Um, if this weekend you are one of those smart people he happens to be hanging out with, at any particular moment, I would encourage you to, form that, to inform Dan that his money is no good this year. Um, also, we're having a celebratory cake this afternoon that uh, so, Dan has moved on. It is my opportunity to rebuild BSD Can in my vision. Ha ha ha! And that's basically the same BSD Can, but with sustainable staffing. Money has become tight. Everything has gotten more expensive. Um, for example. AV expenses doubled since last year. Um, so we've looked at some cheaper options for doing some things. For example, those of you who've been coming to BSD CAN for years, I know you're all super attached to the lunchtime sandwiches that the university provides, that they're a key element of the conference. And I hope you will accept that today, we're bringing in an outside caterer for shawarma. Um, try to save some money. Um, we had registration pickup in the Hacker Lounge last night. Um, there's, there will be a financial snapshot in the closing talk and a blog post after that. So again, we don't have record attendance this year. Um, we have. 
there's been speculation about why. Some say masks, some say uh, the price increase. The price of BSD can, Dan somehow set it at 199 in 2005 and did not increase it ever. So this year's price is basically 199 in 2005 dollars. That this, it was long overdue. Um, but training budgets have not recovered from COVID. There were a whole bunch of regular attendees who said they couldn't even get the time off to attend. So we are the hardcore, and our goal is to keep BSD CAN going until people can come back. Yeah. Oh, hey. So here's the classic graph of how people registered. And yeah, that was a kind of a slow time there. So we were really excited when the con started. Because, oh, wow, everybody's registering. Everybody's registering. We're going to have lots of people. And it kind of flatlined. Um, because everybody wanted to come back, and they were not wasting time to register, and we thank you. So some things going on. The Father and Sons Pub seems to be our local this year. Uh, if you have nothing to do, you can go hang out there and see who else is there. There are protesters across the road that way in the big field. Leave them alone. If you get in trouble with the police for trying to play with the protesters, we can't help you. Um, and last, if, if you've registered a guest, a spouse, or parents, or children, um, Celine here has been to BSD CAN many times and knows all the tourist joints. Uh, if you are responsible for your young children, if you leave them alone, we will teach them to debug the buffer cache, and they will be ruined forever. Masks, everybody hates them. We have attendees and CONCOM whose health means they can't attend a, an event without a mask policy. And the, the BSD world needs a conference where people who are less healthy can show up. And apparently, that's going to be us. Um, Colin purchased 640 masks, which should have been enough for anyone. Um, but sadly, he couldn't fit them all in the suitcase. We, we have lots of them at registration. Um, sponsors. We love our sponsors, especially when money is tight. Platinum sponsor, Netflix. Thank you. <laughs> Gold sponsors, Arm and Apple. We will all be tired after BSD CAN, so I would like to encourage each and every one of you to go home and watch some Netflix on your ARM-based MacBook. <laughs> Our silver sponsors, FreeBSD Foundation and TarSnap. Our bronze sponsors, Antithesis, ISC, NetBSC Foundation. <laughs> A bunch of companies sponsored their employee travel uh, and made smaller contributions in kind. And we'd like to thank every one of them as well. We've listed them all on the website. So we do want more sponsors, of course, after the pandemic. People are out of the habit. Um, sometimes it's just not in the budget because they didn't know. So if you work for a company, please sound them out and say, hey, BSD can. They're trying to save money by bringing in shawarma for lunch. Uh, so our main goal was to not change the conference from the Dan Langell show to the Michael Lucas show. 
Um, if this was the Michael Lucas show, registration would have been down at the gelato shop. Um, so this is the team. Uh, Colin and Alan set up BSD Conferences, BSD Can Conferences, Inc. It's an Ontario company to handle the money. Um, we've separated the papers committee from the operations committee. Nobody who can write a check can be on the papers committee. Totally separate. Um, everyone on this list is absolutely essential. Concom's wearing fancy, yeah? Uh, this list up on the screen is the operations committee. Yes, this is the operations committee. These are the people who m made the event happen, not picked the, the event. We'll be thanking papers committee at the end. Um, there are a few people I notably want to thank. Um, while everyone is essential, Michael Dexter, in six months, raised tens of thousands of dollars from Bupkiss. Um, um, Adam up here single-handedly wrangled the University of Ottawa into giving us rooms, which now that I've seen the process from the inside, oh my god. Um, that he donated, I would say, more of his time and more of his absolute frustration than anyone. Thank you, Adam. Now, the sponsors came through for us, and we love them. Um, but it took a while to get the business going and to be able to accept the money. And this caused a cash flow problem. Uh, I had to go to the FreeBSC Foundation on bended knee and say, hey, um, I would, it would really help us pay some deposits if you could give us a bit of the, of the sponsor money ahead of time, please. Um, and Deb was great with that. But we needed tens of thousands of dollars. And Colin Percival over at Tarsnap stepped up to financially backstop this event with no guarantee that he would actually get it back. Uh, we, we planned to. We really wanted to. But there was no guarantee. So Colin, we would like to thank your credit card. And <laughs> yes, because giving Colin a gift is eh. giving his kid a gift. There. So we have other needs for our concom. Adam needs a backup. Adam needs someone to work with him to wrangle the university. Um, Michael Williams is taking over point on travel from Adam. Uh, and he needs a backup for wrangling receipts and reimbursements. Also, we built this lovely committee of people, and it has no front end people. We're all back end sysadmins. Um, now, the BSD CAN website that Dan built is top of the line PHP code from 2004. We need something better. Specifically, we need a person to do it, not suggestions on how to do it. So we will have a different website next year. If nobody steps up, I will do it myself. My skills being what they are, I invite you all to contemplate BSTCAN's future web presence, proudly powered by WordPress. So I, I sincerely hope somebody volunteers something else, anything else, and come talk to us if you have any interest. So uh, safety, the, the operations team has actually had harassment training, the kind where you stop it, not the kind where you do it. Dan has handled any problems in the past. 
but we're a new team and someone might decide to test us. If someone tells you to knock it off, please do. If someone with a rainbow lanyard tells you to knock it off, you're in trouble. And if a couple people with rainbow lanyards summon me, you're, you're about to get booted from the con for the day, for the year, or for life. So let's not be jerks. Sexism, racism, transphobia, all of that is not funny. So Hacker Lounge, uh, lobby of the residence hall, there for you to hang out, work with your laptop, talk, have dinner, whatever. It's open to all of us. You don't have to be staying in the residence. You don't have to be actually hacking. Registration bags, we have lovely bags this year. They are sturdy enough to you know, carry small children if you wish. If you don't want it, return it to the registration desk. We'll donate it. If you return your lanyard, we'll save it for next year. One of the things we'd like to do is have a BSD Can travel fund where we could invite younger people who don't have the resources to, to come to BSD Can, give them a room, and expose them to us. So we're having a silent auction with limited edition swag over by the registration desk. Uh, there's what, one for today and one for tomorrow? Three per day. Three per day. Okay. Four on Earth. Four on Earth. Four mugs on Earth. This is your only chance to get it? Please bid early and often and a lot. Closing session. We're having a charity auction. The charity auction is one of the two things that Dan is going to do for us because he's so good at it. Um, bring things to donate. Bring cash. The Ottawa Mission handles uh, or is the, our beneficiary. And we have something unique right after the auction that'll take about 60 seconds. So please don't run out the door. Afterwards, we have the closing social uh, down at Sen's house. The window's open, so there's airflow. We'd like to invite everyone to attend. You, if you didn't pay at registration, you can pay us now. We have enough food. We'd love to have you. Throw us some money. And it's 64 Canadian. It's not like that's real money. <laughs> um, don't eat before you go. We have, we have heaps of food. Um, vegetarian, gluten-free, and Dan will also be handing out drink tickets at the venue. Um, if the auction does really, really well, uh, I should tell you, I, should, I sh may end the night during the closing social by kicking Ray Percival in the head. Um, <laughs> the, only if the auction does well, come on. So, on to the talks. Have fun, be safe, be kind, wear your masks. And if you, ha we would love to have some donations from folks. There, you'll see QR codes. That's it. Go be geeky. Yeah. We'll do our best to address it. I hear your chairman's kind of sketchy. Thank you. Thank you, Lucas. Thank you, Lucas. Uh, my, my main job as con chair was to trick other people into doing the actual work. Because again, not the Michael Lucas show, and the best way to achieve that is for me to not do a dang thing. Thank you all.